Hey everybody, my name is Pam Barefoot and I just wanted to spend a little time today sort of explaining a little bit in more depth how the 21 Day Fix plan works and how the container system works and what all you get when you actually order a 21 Day Fix or 21 Day Fix Extreme Challenge Pack. So first, everything that you're going to get if you decide to order the Challenge Pack is all of the containers. You're going to get a month's worth of Shakeology. You're going to get the DVDs, which is going to be two different DVDs. It's enough workouts to last you the whole 21 days. And you'll also, when you order the Challenge Pack, you get a bonus DVD workout, which is great. You're going to get your Shaker Cup for your Shakeology. You're going to get the meal plan book, which explains everything. And you'll also get a wonderful calendar. This is a Shakeology recipe calendar, and it gives you 30 different recipes on the way the ways to make the flavor of Shakeology that you buy. So that's really great bonus as well. So that's everything that you get when you order the challenge pack. And let's explain a little bit how it works. So once you get, get it in the mail and receive it, I encourage you to go through your nutrition plan booklet and, and read it all the way through. You'll find on page four that there'll be a calculation that you can use to calculate what calorie range that you're gonna fall into. It's a very simple calculation. It doesn't take long to do, and it will allow you to figure out what calorie range you fall into. There is also on page 19, this is just a picture of it, but there's a uh, sort of a quick start cheat sheet that you don't even have to do the calculation. And it tells you what container, I mean, what uh, calorie range you fall into. And then from there, how many containers you get per day. So for example, for the calorie range of 1500 to 1800 calories per day, which that calorie range is 468 pounds to 195 pounds. So if you weigh in that range, then this is how many containers you will get. You'll get four green, green containers per day. This is your vegetables. You'll get three fruit containers per day, which is your purple. You'll get four protein containers a day. That's actually a lot. You'll get three yellow containers. This is your carbs. So three carbs, I think it's pretty amazing that you can eat carbs on the 21 day fix. I think that's great. And then you're going to get one blue container, which is your healthy fats, and one orange container, which is your seeds, dressings, things like that. And then you'll get four teaspoons. Okay, and we'll talk a little bit about what goes in each container right now. So additionally, within this book, it's going to explain Every, all the foods. This is a picture of the food list. So it's going to tell you all the foods that go in each container that are 21 day fix approved. Okay. And I will tell you that at the, if you go, the foods at the top of the list are the foods that are a higher quality food or a, you know, a better for you food if it's at the top of the list. So you want to try to pick foods from the top as best as you can or as often as you can, but obviously anything on the list is approved and is perfectly fine for you to eat and there it's not restrictive there's a lot of great foods on the list that are approved and basically if it fits in the container then you can have it now you need to be able to put the lid on the container though so you don't want to <laughs> have your container completely overflowing and expect that to count as your container because it, you need to be able to put the lid on um, and the best way that you will use these containers is really sort of as a measuring tool. I mean, they are microwave safe and dishwasher safe. However, um, and if you have more than one set of containers, then maybe you might use them more for like storage to take things to and from work or something like that. But typically what you're going to do, like for example, what I do is when I'm packing my lunch in the morning to take to work, um, or if I'm packing it the night before, then I'll measure out my vegetable and I'll measure out my protein and I'll measure out my carb and I dump it into the container that I'm going to use, a larger container, to take my lunch to work in. Or if I'm doing it at dinner, at the dinner time, when I set all the food out on the table, I bring these containers <laughs> and set them beside my plate. And when I, when I 
scoop out of the dish, the family big dish, I scoop it into here, and then I dump it onto my plate. So that's the way that it works, okay? And I'll just give you a brief example for fruits. It, you know, some fruits obviously won't fit in a container like a banana, for example. And the book will explain that a half a banana equals a purple container. So there are some things like that in bread, for example, one slice of bread is a yellow container. So you'll need to refer to your nutrition guide for some equivalents because there are some things that just won't fit in a container, but they're still okay to eat. So you'll, um, that's how that would work. Um, there's also, it's very helpful to use a tracking sheet, especially when you're first getting started. What you'll want to do is you'll want to look at the food list that I just showed you. Showed you. You'll want to pick out, you know, five or six or more foods from each container list that you like. I mean, I know what foods I like to eat, but you'll need to really review that list and write down the things that you actually like to eat. Not everyone wants to eat, you know, turkey burgers, but some people will. And some people might would rather have pork tenderloin or some people maybe would rather have fish. Not everyone likes fish, you know, those kind of things. So you need to decide to pick out the foods that you like. And once you figure out the foods that you like, develop your grocery list, and then plan your meals. And I found it easiest when I first began this program to use this tracking sheet to keep track of my meals and check them off each container, you know, for each meal. And then as the day, check off each container. And that way I could make sure that I was actually eating all of my containers in the right containers and getting, getting them all in within the day. Um, it's very important that you eat all of your containers. I know for some people that may seem like more food than what you're used to eating, and that may have been why you've been in a plateau for so long is because you're not eating enough. You do actually have to eat food to lose weight. I know that sounds counterintuitive, but if you're not eating enough food, your metabolism will just not work at the right pace, and it will not allow you to lose weight. So you have to eat food, the right kind of foods, in the right portions throughout the day to lose weight. You just do. It's a proven fact. And you do need some fats, just not too many. But those healthy fats are key. The protein is key. One of the things that it taught me when I first started doing this program was that I was not eating enough protein. I was stuck in a plateau for months and months and months. I was not eating enough protein. I was eating too many carbs. <laughs> and I was eating too many healthy fats. You can have too much of a good thing. So that's the, the genius and the beauty to me of this plan is it really shows you the right amounts of the right foods. The food list is really all about whole foods, one ingredient foods, healthy, nutritious, whole foods. There's nothing really processed. It's, it's about clean eating. So to me, it's just a win-win. I mean, your nutrition is really taken care of with this plan. Now, I don't know if you heard a lot about Shakeology, but Shakeology is part of this as well. And Shakeology is fantastic. Um, it counts as a red container. If you were to add a piece of fruit to it or something like that, then obviously you would add that container count to that meal as well. It is, it can be a meal replacement. It could also just be a snack. Um, but it does have enough nutrition in it to actually serve as a meal replacement. And when you add a little calories to it from fruit or some people like to add vegetables, kale, spinach, broccoli, <laughs> you name it. Some people add avocado to it. Um, but anyway, when you add some calories to it, then it definitely ser can serve as a meal replacement. Um, and it's just super, super healthy for you. It has all kinds of superfoods in it that boost your metabolism. It has antioxidants, it has pro and prebiotics that improve your digestion. It has all the vitamins and minerals in it, more than what a typical multivitamin even has. With Shakeology, you can throw your multivitamins out. You won't need them if you're taking using Shakeology. Um, it, you name it, it's in there. It's even got um, healthy foods like kale and things like that in there too. Um, and like I said, all of the superfoods that are just so, so good for you. You know, nutrition 
is not the way it was when I was young or my parents were young. You know, foods were grown in such a way that they were really nutritious and healthy for you. But an apple grown today in the soil today, in the environment today, only has one third of the nutritious value of an apple grown back when I was a little girl. Isn't that amazing? It's just sad, actually. And I used to worry so much about making sure to eat, you know, all the colors of the rainbow throughout the day so that I could get all the nutrition that my body needed each day to be healthy. Well, now I don't even have to give that a second because Shakeology has that covered for me. I know that I'm feeding my body every possible nutritious thing that it needs in this one meal. And then when I follow this the rest of the day, I know that I'm feeding my body exactly what it needs. And I am enabling myself to be able to lose weight if that's my goal or maintain my weight if that's my goal. The other thing about 21 Day Fix that really helped me get over that plateau, like I said, I was in a plateau for months before I did this plan, was that these workouts, they're only 30 minutes, which is great. I loved that because I felt like I could actually squeeze 30 minutes into my day. An hour sometimes is really hard, especially when you tack on additional time to drive to the gym, and drive back home, and all that. But 30 minutes, I could do. And the other thing about these workouts is they incorporate a light set of weights. So maybe like three pound barbells or five pound barbells, something like that. Uh, dumbbells is what I meant. And um, the incorporation of those weights I found is critical. I mean, it really, really, really boosts your metabolism and really starts burning those, that fat to add in the resistance. And before this, I was really more of a cardio junkie. You know, all I did was mostly cardio type exercises. So to add a little resistance training, to my workout and then discover portion control and the right foods and the right amounts all at the same time, my body just responded and I lost 25 pounds doing three rounds of the 21 day fix. So the other thing that I found that I really love about 21 day fix is that I love to cook. And so I've always hated to go on a diet for however long, 21 days or however long, and eat like the same thing over and over and over, and really only me eating it, not my whole family, because I can't you know, make my family eat what I'm eating for 21 days or however long this diet is gonna last. And then at the end of that time, I maybe have lost some weight, but I can't maintain that because it's just eating the same boring foods over and over again. That's not the way it is with 21 Day Fix. What I love about 21 Day Fix is you can make really delicious meals and snacks that are clean 21 day fix approved recipes that are not that are not boring that are exciting that are kid friendly family friendly that the whole family will enjoy eating i have this cookbook this is autumn calabrese's fixate cookbook and there's at least a hundred recipes in this cookbook and every recipe gives you the container count of exactly what one serving, how many you know, yellow containers or green containers, etc. It tells you. So if you're planning out your meals for the week and you pick out several recipes that you're going to cook for dinner during that week, and maybe some will be you know used for leftovers the next day for lunch. You know you ha you have your container count right there, and you can you know plan very simply and very easy. And additionally, there are websites like Pinterest that have lots and lots of 21 day fix recipes also. So that is what has made this for me a lifestyle change, not just a diet that I stuck to for 21 days. It truly is a lifestyle change. 